What's up, guys? This is Pedro from My Stuttering Life, where you will hear the good, the bad, the very ugly. We're going to laugh. We're going to cry. But through it all, just know that you are not alone. So let's get started. This is this is episode number 98, and my special guest is Priya Isaacs. Priya is 15 years old and is currently in the 10th grade. She has had a stutter since she was three. Throughout her journey, she has learned so much about st- stuttering and how it affects a person. Her aim now is to educate and spread awareness, but also to help people who st- stutter connect. I am honored to have her as a guest with me on the My st- st- Stuttering Life podcast. Welcome, Priya Isaacs. Thank you for having me. This is such a great opportunity. Thank you. <laughs> Hi, Priya. This is a huge honor. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We have a, 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 a lot of topics to cover, so let's get started. Yes. So, so do 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 you remember when you first began to stutter? Um, kind of yes and no, <laughs> in a way. So I started stuttering in when I was around two. Um, and then I kind of didn't, I had never noticed it. My, um, my preschool teacher actually noticed it and told my mom. And then when I was around four, I started actual treatment. So, um, I started, it's called the Westmead program, I'm pretty sure, or the Lidcom. I can't vaguely remember. Um, but I remember actually going to the treatment and actually um, doing it, but I don't actually remember stuttering as such. <laughs> yes. Now, um, um, I'm in this treatment, mm-hmm. which I assume is uh, speech therapy, correct? Mm-hmm. Yes. Okay. Um, d- did you f- find it very helpful? Um, I think I did. Yes, I do remember. Um, because I don't actually remember stuttering or like actually, um, yeah, stuttering. <laughs> um, it's kind of hard to say if it worked or not, but um, I would assume it did. Yeah, yeah, I think. But I only did it for about a year or so because it was just like the travel and stuff was harder for us. So we stopped it after a year, but then yeah, I started it back up in year four. But yeah. Okay. Um, are there any um, f- 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 family members who stutter? Yes. So my uncle on my dad's side actually does stutter. He It's quite um, prominent. but And then also my grandfather, I think, also stuttered as well. But it's not really known because it wasn't um, actually diagnosed before him. But yeah. So I've got a couple family members on my dad's side. Um, but yeah. Yeah. So you're 15 years old, yes, correct? Yes. So how's school? Because for a r- regular kid, mm-hmm. you know, school is, you know, <laughs> school is school. You yes. know, you, I mean, you have the pressures and you have, you know, I mean, just a whole a bunch of things going on. But if you have a stutter, it's a little bit m- 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 more um, difficult. How do you handle school with having a stutter um when I first started in year seven it was definitely a challenge and I think I don't know but I I had amazing I had amazing friends who were so supportive and I had a presentation actually on in year seven and that's kind of when I told everybody because I went to go say good morning and I started on good morning and I was like oh no this is not gonna end well so I just had to burst into tears um but yeah so I think It was definitely harder in year seven um, because I was more aware of it. I was more self-conscious about my stutter. But um, having amazing friends just helped it so much. And they were just so respectful and they were so just so supportive of it, which I couldn't ask for better. And it was definitely something that it's helped me the whole time. So, yeah. And then year eight and nine. um, Yeah, I mean, with having with having therapy from years four to I think I stopped in year eight it's definitely helped a lot because as you can like I'm able to um 
talk without stuttering, which is amazing. Um, but I think now it's more about the after kind of thing. I mean, obviously it's going to come back, but it's more like the anxiety and the stresses of having to talk to people and stuff. But yeah, like I still don't talk in class and stuff. It's something that I just, I'll get there. But yeah, it's definitely, that's probably the first thing. Yeah. Well, let me tell you, Priya, when I was your age in school, oh, and I mean, ooh, they m- m- made us read out loud. Okay. okay yes. Now, I mean, you, you know, to hear the teacher tell you, um, you know, giving us the paragraphs, mm-hmm. you know, and knowing that I'm number f- 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 four desks down. Yes. And she tells me the paragraph that I'm supposed to read. <laughs> you know, it might as well as been a book, you yeah. know, to yeah. read. Because as the f- first person is reading their paragraph i mean let i mean i don't have to tell you priya but you know my heart was just <laughs> racing i was i mean i had such physical reactions and then here comes you know the next person and then the third person and then and we had to get up we had oh, to get up right. yes, yes. and hold the book and read our paragraph and you know what i you know, I barely got up because <laughs> you know how your <laughs> yes. legs are shaking, you yes. know, your arms are shaking. It's all and out of so, your body. You know, yes. <laughs> so I get up and I'm holding this book and, and, you know, I'm looking at the paragraph and I mean, right off the bat, I see 20 words that I cannot say. Yeah. And then the the first word, I mean, I just repeat the first letter like 20 or 30 times and then... <laughs> You hear the, you know, the laughter, you know, from all, from all of the kids and then name calling. And then Mm -hmm. I just, I sat back down Mm -hmm. in my chair, Priya. And let me tell you, the kid behind me had to read my paragraph. So adding injury to, I mean, just, (laughs) just, yeah, I mean, it was, and from that day onward, you know what I told myself? Um, th- this will never happen again. Yeah. And so the next time that it happened, I would raise my hand mm-hmm. and go to the restroom. And oh. so let me tell you, Priya, all through school, yeah. I was in that restroom, in that <laughs> st- in that stall, in history class, English. I mean, j- just uh, I mean, b- because I knew mm. that that I couldn't do it, yeah. but. But I mean, you, you you are so ahead of the game than how I was because you have good friends. You okay. have p- people around you who are, you know, going to help you yeah. and support yeah. you. So, so, um, so you are ahead of the game, but I wanted to um, ask you, um, um, in school, are you in like a many g- any groups like sports to kind of help you branch out? Um, well, I'm definitely not athletic, that's for sure. Don't have an athletic bone in my body. <laughs> so definitely not athletics or like sports or anything like that. Um, I do music. I'm in like the music um, like band and stuff. Um, but other than that, no, like debating, all that stuff. Could never. <laughs> Definitely not one of my strong ones. <laughs> well, let me tell you, Priya, um, the, um, you know, drama kids pulled me in. Uh, yeah. They, um, they, you know, um, told me that um, I could do anything. Yes. I mean, I mean, they were like, you know, you know, how can we help you? Mm-hmm. You know, we want you to join. And so, you know, when you have those kids around you who are so helpful and supportive you know you want to join in say yes i'll i'll do it i'll do it do it and 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 then priya they ask you if you want to be in a play and so you are already in that mood like yes you can do anything (laughs) i will do it i will do it and then you Walk home and tell yourself, what d- did I just do? I agreed <laughs> to be in a play. Have you heard, Pedro? <laughs> I can't even say my name. And I agreed to be in a play. Yes. But I mean, 
um, th- that's great that you, um, that you have those those you know clubs to you know bring you out. Yeah. Because you know people um, you know kids who stutter. I mean it. It you know I'm making be the very um. Um, um, isolating. Yeah. Whereas, you know, no one wants to hang around you, but, you know, thankfully I had the, um, you know, drama kids that just, you know, pulled me out. And that was a huge, you know, um, gift and blessing. Yes. That's good. That's really good though. Yeah. So, So do you have advice i know you're 15 but you know you know um you to me are you know and you have a good head on your shoulder (laughs) thank you so so what advice would you give to your school teachers and and you know parents with with regards to children who stutter um, I think the first thing is probably just support. So just always, always supporting the child, even though it's difficult to, to um, just kind of, yeah, like it's just kind of difficult in general, I guess. But I mean, it'll take time and that's, it'll, it'll happen. Um, I think that's probably the first thing. So just supporting constantly, no matter what. Um, and also just respect that like the child is still your child or the child is still at school and things and they just want to be, able to talk to everybody without um, stuttering. Um, so yeah, so definitely respect and support would be my main ones. And um, yeah, I think, like I said, it will take time, but I mean, time happens, it will it will happen. <laughs> but yeah, for sure. Now, you're in Aust- Australia, yes. correct? Yes. What part? Sydney. Sydney. Um, are, y- are y'all still in um, lockdown? Or no? No, no, very much oh. not in lockdown. <laughs> okay. So, do you go to school or do you stay home and do everything like Zoom? I go to school. Yeah. Okay. Good. good. Yes. Okay. Uh, did you ever have to, have to um, do the Zoom with your schooling? Yes, I had Zoom for I think it was like a month uh, last year during March. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so let me ask you, Priya, because woo, I mean, um, pre-pandemic, yeah. you know, we were, you know, talking to people face to face. You know, we, I mean, we had the eye contact, and you know, I shake their hands, and they shake my hands, yes. and everything's good. And and then this pandemic hit, and they pull you out of that, yes, and and, and you're home, and there's a webcam right there, <laughs> and you know, and they tell you to, you, you know, talk and do your homework and, you know, and whatnot. Um, how did you handle that? W- was it st- stressful because of the stutter? Um, well, I know stuttering's always been stressful for sure. And especially since for me, it came with the anxiety as well, which it's definitely been a challenge for me to kind of um, maneuver around it. Um, but with Zoom and school and stuff, I knew, like, I kind of could feel that my stutter was going to happen. So I wouldn't, I wouldn't actually put my hand up or I wouldn't, like, take the mute off and stuff. And, um, yeah. And then I think, and as well, like, afterwards, I've seen, like, all these videos of, like, all these different tricks to try and get yourself out of Zoom classes. Uh, it's like, if only I'd seen that sooner. <laughs> but no, no, honestly, like... Um... <laughs> <laughs> yes, we we don't do that, Priya. No. <laughs> we don't do that. Absolutely no. not. <laughs> 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 uh, but yeah, I've definitely wished, like, I didn't do that as well. But um, yeah, honestly, like, it was definitely a challenge. But I think I've tried to, I've avoided it, which isn't good, but... I mean, they won't know. <laughs> um, I've avoided those situations. I haven't, like, put my mute on and stuff, unless they, like, called me and stuff. But, yeah, other than that, like, I've I've kind of just known when I was going to stutter, so I just wouldn't I wouldn't stutter. Um, or, like, I wouldn't unmute and things. So, yeah, definitely was a challenge. It was definitely a more lonelier time. But, I mean, everyone has gone through it, and we've, we've all gotten that stronger. So, yeah. 
Yes, and that is a great um, attitude to have <laughs> because you know th- this pushed us completely out yes, of our comfort zones. Yes. I mean it I mean it just threw us <laughs> out there. It's like, okay, this is what you have to do now. Yeah. You know, look at that webcam, look at the green light or the blue light and just talk. And it's like, um I gotta practice. I mean <laughs> I mean it 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 you know it, it took me a couple of weeks, but you know I called my buddies, you know, and told them, okay, this is what I now have to do. Yeah. So I need for us to practice. And I mean, we practice and practice and, mm-hmm. you know, and now it's, you know, it's just like second nature, yeah. you know, to me now. Cause you know, it's, you know, yeah, it's right there. Exactly. It's like a habit. <laughs> it is. Yes. Now. Let me ask you a hot topic. Yes. Okay, because ooh, this can just ooh, can trigger people, <laughs> but I want to ask you Priya. Yes. You know. So do you let others f- finish your sentences? Definitely a controversial topic. That's for sure. <laughs> yeah. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. That's why I gotta ask the hard questions, yes. ma'am. <laughs> um no, but yes. <laughs> I mean if people do, I don't really like tell them, oh no, like don't do that. Like, um, like it, it you know, no, I, I, I wouldn't say that, but, um, I would hope no one would finish my sentences. Cause, um, if I am stuttering at that point, um, I would just, I would like try and figure out a way to mask it in a way, which is definitely not good. And if speech pathologists heard this, they would be like, oh, no, what's she doing? <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 Priya, no. that's not what we taught you. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. But, I mean, especially in high school with, like, a lot of – and I'm at a girl school as well, so it's definitely come with a lot of um, girl situations, especially with stuttering. So, like, um, it's definitely a lot harder to stutter. At, I would say – I mean, I've never been to a co-ed school – um, in high school but um a girl school has definitely come with some challenges but yeah like I would I would mask it in a way that I wouldn't have the opportunity or the chance to kind of have people interrupting me so yeah I mean stuttering for me because I'm kind of like the clown of my group <laughs> I would say joking and stuttering there's definitely a very fine line and I've had like I've had things where it's completely just like missed it so if I've gone to like joke but I just stuttered and they're like absolutely not like I'm just not going to finish it now (laughs) like it's definitely hard to kind of joke and stutter because when you're in like that moment and you go to like stutter and stuff and then you're going to joke it just completely misses but yes interrupting and stuff I would say yes and no (laughs) See, and, and, um, when I was your age, you know, I didn't l- 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 like it when they would f- finish my s- s- sentences <laughs> because it made me f- feel, you know, less than plus half of the time, Priya, they got it wrong. Yes. Like, no, yeah. that isn't, that is not what I wanted to say. Mm. But, you know, now that I am older you know, a a lot older. My motto is, is now help you, help me, help you, help me, help you. Okay. Because when I have a block, my eyes close, Mm -hmm. which, you know, I'm still trying to work on that, but you know, my eyes close and I stop breathing. Mm -hmm. So there is a possibility Priya that I may pass out. (laughs) I don't know because there's no oxygen going to the brain, (laughs) but, but, you know, I'm still, learning in my journey and so um i might believe that it's always appropriate to ask mm-hmm, the mm-hmm. other person is it okay if i help you and if you say no that's perfectly fine yeah. you know i re yeah. i respect that but um i mean but growing up in school i mean it would it would just infuriate me mm-hmm. and then they would get it wrong and then it'd be just just horrible so <laughs> yeah yeah that was a big topic yes. for me <laughs> yes so, so how do you handle having a bad speech day because i know 
uh, we go through, you know, phases, yes. you know, in our speech. You know, you may have some days where, it, I mean, everything just comes out. Yes. And then you have other days. No, 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 Pedro. <laughs> everything you say is not going to come out. Yes. So how how do you handle um, th- those bad speech days? Well, I think stuttering, like you said, it has its moments. It's going to go through moods, just like humans, um, which sucks. But, I mean, for me, it's definitely not a good day if I do have a bad stuttering day because then it comes with the, oh, no, what are people going to think? Um, what are my, like, what what is my, like, negative self-talk that I know I have? Um, what's that going to be telling me? Um, and then how am I going to kind of put myself through that um so I don't know for me I don't when it comes to stuttering um I don't talk to people about it only because I don't know what they're going to say or if they're going to like understand it and as much as my friends can say or help me through it which is amazing it's just sometimes with stuttering it's very different because they won't fully understand it which is totally fine but um yeah that that's why through my Instagram page um, I've been able to express my stuttering in a way that other people um, may not have been able to understand when I was talking to them. So, yeah, I mean, definitely for me, journaling has been my biggest thing. Um, I love journaling. All my thoughts go into that book. <laughs> so, yes, and I love like being able to like flick through it and be like, I was here and now I'm here, like... It's 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 very therapeutic in a way. So yes, for me, journaling, um, or even talking to people who stutter, which I've been able to connect with so many people, um, and it's been amazing. Like I've been able to talk to so many people about it; they can actually understand what I'm saying. So yeah, so journaling and oh, <laughs> sorry, <laughs> bit of a voice crack there. Uh, journaling and um, what did I say? Oh, talking to people. That's right. <laughs> See, and I mean, um, I cannot tell you how important journaling is. Yes. Because I have so many books that I have just written down the things that have happened with my speech. And like you, when I go back onto it, I can... See the journey, mm-hmm. you know, of where I was and where um, I am now. And so, you know, I am proud of myself yeah. f- f- for um, for never giving up because, mm-hmm. I mean, whoo, Priya, and you know this, there Very are days wise. when <laughs> you, you don't, you, I mean, it's like, no, not today. <laughs> not today. You turn everything off, yes. the phone, the TV, and 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 you are just in your room praying that the next day is going to to be better. So you know, um, I believe in journaling. It's extremely therapeutic. Yes. And then you also brought up negative self talk. Let me tell you, Priya. Ooh, I mean, uh, my mine. I named him Oscar. I, I named him Oscar because he was always grouchy. And so when when Oscar would pop up, you know, and tell me, you can't make that phone call. Don't even think about making that yeah. phone call because you because you know you can't do it. I mean, whenever he would pop up, I learned to to shut him down. Yes. Um, I would tell Oscar, no, I am in charge. So yep. bye bye, Oscar. And then, you, you know, he would he would go away but you know granted it took me a lot of time to get to that point and so um by you t- telling me that that you do journaling that is i mean fantastic because that does help you in every aspect of your life yes so yeah how cool now let me ask you another hot topic mm-hmm. Ooh. So I ask everyone around the world who is on my podcast, and the answer is split right down the middle. And so let me ask you, Priya. Yes. When you are alone, mm-hmm. can you speak without stuttering? Um, yes. Yes. <laughs> I would definitely do. Um, but I think that's also kind of with 
my speech is my speech therapist like speech therapy um I've been able to talk a lot more fluently than I would have when I first started speaking um so I think that's kind of along it like coming along it I don't know if that makes sense but yeah um it, it does yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you get it it's fine uh, um but yeah so I would say I have been able to talk by myself fluently um I think also like talking to other people it's like that added like stress as well like knowing what they're gonna think what they're gonna say what am I thinking all that stuff comes along with it so yes I would say yes see and we I mean we're all different in our journeys however we have that common denominator that that you know we have a stutter and and I am your opposite. You know, when when I'm home, just all all by myself, you know, and you know, as 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 I'm talking to myself, like we all do. Yes. Uh, <laughs> you know, I still, you know, I stumble, I block, I repeat. So we're all different. And so um I was just just curious. So all right. So I have an another question what what do you want to do as a uh, as a uh, career so it's funny it's actually kind of ironic that my sister's actually doing speech therapy so she kind of really yes yeah she's studying speech. that is <laughs> wow that is i mean you know that's great to have a family member just right there yes exactly <laughs> sometimes it's very annoying to kind of talk to her about speech therapy because it's like oh. <laughs> so, i can imagine yes yeah, I can imagine. um so she kind of stole that career from me but it's fine <laughs> i'm okay about it now <laughs> um but actually like i i found that i when i, I, w I really want to do occupational therapy so that's definitely a career that is very interesting to me so, um, yeah, so definitely working with as an occupational therapist and like after having or talking to my sister about um, speech therapy, like occupational therapists and speech work are really close together. So it'll be good because kind of like I'm having both. <laughs> but yeah, occupational therapy. Yeah, that is awesome. You know, um, and and I wish you n n nothing but s success because I have a a a. a, a a bunch of friends who are um, occ occupational therapists and they love their job. They just have a great time every day. They love to um, interact with their patients. Mm -hmm. And I mean, they they just love their job. And so th that is a, a great career field to, you know, go into. So Thank how cool. You. <laughs> yes. How cool. Okay. So has this ever happened to you? Okay. Let's say... You have a doctor's appointment, mm -hmm. and so you head on into the building, and then you you walk in, and there's an admin person at the front desk, and they are there to check you in, yep. and they are um, they you know greet you, and 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 they ask you for your name, and then you have a block, mm -hmm. but I'm not talking an ordinary block. I mean this is a block. <laughs> I mean this is a long block have you ever had anyone ask you in that situation did you forget your name um well i try to avoid talking to receptionists and stuff like if i'm with someone i'll be like okay you can go <laughs> it's okay i'll go next time <laughs> <laughs> yes like i will go next time but i really won't um so i've definitely like yeah avoided situations like that but, um, yeah, I can't actually fully answer the question. But, yeah, I mean, I probably have forgotten it, but I also have a really bad memory. So, I mean, probably it's part of that as well. <laughs> now, what do you um, think about all, you know, of uh, this new t technology? You mm -hmm. have um, Google Home. Mm -hmm. You have Alexa. And then you have s s oh, the the one from Apple that starts with an S. Yes. <laughs> Siri. Who yes. are those S's? Um, do do you think 
th that this new voice technology is helpful or harmful or harmful for people who stutter? Um. Well, I mean, I have a Google Home <laughs> that my friend actually gave me, and so it's been it's been good and bad. I mean, when I go to stutter and talk to the the Google Home, it'll like cut you off because they think that like if you're like blocking, they'll think you're like stopped. So it's definitely harmful in that way, but it's also good. I mean, it's um it's easy. Plus, I'm very lazy, so it's probably helpful for me as well. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> See, I mean, um, whenever I try to use it, I mean, you, um, you gave it, you gave a great um example. It cuts you off because I mean, you have to answer like within one or two yes. s s seconds, and it's like, no, it's Pedro. I need at least ten, fifteen minutes to <laughs> to breathe diaphragmatically. You know, I need to focus and. And then by then it's like you hear, please repeat, or yeah. um, I didn't get that. It's like <laughs> it's like okay, I'm trying to tell you something or ask you a question. Just give me time. <laughs> Just give me time. And so, so here's the the um good part is that I've actually participated in two um collegiate. St studies regarding voice technology. And so th there are two colleges that are working on making vo voice um, activated technology m more um, helpful for, for people who st 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 stutter. Be because I can't tell you, you know, how many times I get into in a, to my vehicle and it's voice activated everything it's like oh okay and there are days where i just push a button it's like, i don't i don't want to talk to nobody i don't even want to talk to my suv i'm just <laughs> going to push a button and do it because i mean people don't understand what we go through yeah. on a you know daily basis yeah. on an hourly basis on a minute by minute basis because I mean, we don't know what's going to happen. Yes, I mean, yes. <laughs> there are days where I can pronounce every letter in in the alphabet, and there are other days I just I can't. Yeah, you know. Yeah. So there is no rhyme or reason. It's just random. Yes, it's just random. Yeah. So, so, what do you think is your biggest challenge with having a stutter? Um, oh, that's difficult. <laughs> I can't like name talk. That's why I'm here, Priya. <laughs> yes, <laughs> <laughs> I want the answers. Um, well, yeah. So for me, it's the anxiety. Um, and especially since it started with stuttering, but it also kind of continued with everyday other situations. So yeah, for me, stud uh, stuttering. Yes. <laughs> um, for me, anxiety is the challenge um but also talking to people talking to my teacher like the amount of questions I've had to tell my teacher and I just can't do it because it's I know that I'm going to start or I know they're going to give me like a weird look and be like are you okay like are you going through something um so yeah definitely talking to teachers um talking to even my friends like sometimes um and I know they know that I stutter but it's like it's also difficult for me to kind of um talk to them and stutter um so yeah definitely there's quite there's a few but yeah so like the anxiety talking to teachers um and like students just or even like getting the courage and even t like just giving the bill in a restaurant or something like like even that's just very challenging for me so yeah yes and that it's that's what I was going to ask you next, Priya. So, 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 how do you handle the telephone? Yeah. How do you handle ordering in a restaurant? Mm -hmm. And then, how do you handle going through a drive-through? I, I do. Y'all have those in Sydney? <laughs> I don't. <laughs> yes. I don't have... know. I'm just asking. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we have drive-throughs, but um, 
I haven't actually like gone to talk to a drive through because I'm only 50. So I got my license like end of this year, but yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. Awesome. 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 Yeah. So, so okay. The uh, telephone, mm-hmm. how, um, how do you do on the telephone? Be- because, you know, the, that is a huge, I mean, it's a huge obstacle. It's, yes. it's a huge challenge f- for people who stutter. Um, how do you handle the telephone? Um, oof, that's difficult. <laughs> well, the only person yeah. I call is, I only call my friend, so that's probably, like, she knows, so it's okay. <laughs> um, but I think also, like, with me, I've known her to mask it in a way that it kind of just, like, automatically switches on. So, um, like, I'll say things like, like, before I go and talk, so it kind of, like, resets it. Or, which I know I'm not supposed to do, but I mean, oh well. <laughs> um, it's a crutch, I've been told. <laughs> yes, it definitely is. Um, so yeah, saying like, or, any, or even just like breathing before I do it, which I know I'm allowed, so that's okay. Um, yeah, so yes. breathing before I talk. Um, but yeah, like on the phone, I've never had, I've never been like, I've never had to talk to anybody else other than like my friends or like my grandparents and stuff, so that's been okay for me, but yeah, I'm only 15, so we'll see. <laughs> Ask me in a couple of years. <laughs> oh, I will believe me. So, uh, so okay, R- restaurants. Yes. Um, how do you approach ordering with a waiter at mm-hmm. a restaurant? Well, I don't. <laughs> I don't approach. <laughs> Priya, Priya. <laughs> uh, I mean. I, I, yeah, no. <laughs> I, I mean, <laughs> I'm starting to, I think, or even just like giving the bill or asking, asking for the bill. Um, or even like a couple of weeks ago, um, I was with my sister and we were going to Domino's, like pizza, going to get pizza. And I was like, it's okay, I will go and get the pizza. Um, I definitely did stutter. And they kind of like gave me like a weird like, um, but yeah, I mean... I don't know. I think I have to actually get up and do it, which I haven't been, but um, it'll take time. So, yeah, we'll see. <laughs> My stuttering was having its its bad day that day. So, yeah, but like ordering and stuff um, is definitely something that I will get to try again. But, yeah, it's it's definitely a hard, hard one, yeah. So, so, so let me ask you a important question. <laughs> Because this took me a long time to do, so I'm just curious. Um, do you disclose your stutter to people, or do you just, um, or you know, you uh, you don't do that? Um, disclosing isn't what like not. Okay, like when I go out and mm-hmm. um. And I have a hard time. I just tell the person, you know, oh, hi, right. you know, I'm, you know, I am Pedro. I have a stutter. And so, mm-hmm. you know, you, you may hear me repeat myself. You may s- s- see me have a block. You may see my eyes close or my arms go all over the place. Yes. <laughs> but, I mean, but, uh, but um, I find that if I t- tell people mm-hmm. and I um, educate them, the um, outcome is is much more positive than if I hadn't. Right. Um, no, I don't. I don't disclose it. Um, I probably should, but I mean, I don't know. I think. Um, I don't even know. <laughs> I think it will. Yeah, maybe it'll it'll happen, but I don't. I just I don't. I don't do that. I should. Maybe I'll try it. I'll definitely try that one. But yeah. Yeah, Because, I mean, we're all different, you know, in 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 our journeys. And um, it took me um, like like twice your age. It took me 35 years to get to that point where I I mean, I tell everybody at the post office, you know, we do have a a, a Domino's here. And so when I go to the Domino's, you know, I tell them. (laughs) They probably know me by now, so <laughs> they go, oh, it's just Pedro. Fair you know? enough. <laughs> because um there'll be times when when I'm um 
trying to say hi and my MHs are like heavy breathing. They go, oh, it's just Pedro. <laughs> just trying to, you know, say hello. But, um, yes. but, <laughs> but, but um, I find that if I disclose and just tell them, um, for me, um, it just makes it um, a uh, better outcome because I am I'm educating them on what I have, and 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 so that way when they um, encounter the next person who might have a stutter, they'll be better prepared. So, yes. I, I was yeah definitely education is a big one i think educating people and like bringing stuttering to the front is definitely very important yeah now i'm you know a little curious um has your stutter taught you a a um important life lesson you know i know you are young 15 years old but you have a good head on your shoulders and so um do you think your stutter has taught you a life lesson? Definitely. It's definitely taught me to be more resilient for sure. Um, and like knowing that um, it's okay to stutter. And I learned that um, only like last year. Um, so yeah, it, I definitely, it's definitely taught me that um, everyone has their thing. Um, and although it may not be good, it's like, it, it's definitely helped me a lot. Um, it's definitely taught me also to be a little bit more quieter <laughs> in a way. Um, and that everything has, everything has, um, it's, it's challenges, but yeah, it's definitely, it's, it's taught me, taught me a lot. Yeah. Do you think that, that, um, that, um, it's important f for, for people who, st who stutter to have a thick skin? Yes, it's oh, kind of yes and no. I guess it's it's taught me, or it's yeah, it's taught me to have um, a thicker skin. But it's it's kind of like built up. It's through all of like the different, all of the kind of challenges that's happened. Like from year seven, um, when I had that presentation, it was definitely um, not great. And then, but just starting from then, like through like telling people through. Um, going up and ordering things and all that stuff has it's definitely built up um, that skin as well so that's good so yeah it's definitely stuttering also has other things that come with it and definitely having thicker skin is definitely one of them so yeah, yeah and that's a a great point and then what I tell a lot of people is um, if you push your yourself out of your you know comfort zone because i mean we all have our comfort zones i lived there for 35 years it was really nice really nice but i told myself that if i'm to survive in this world i need to push myself and do things that i would normally have other people do for me i mean i mean so um i learned a a great life lesson that if I push myself just a little bit, just a little bit, I'm every day and get a win. Now there are days, Priya, that I will not get a win. I mean, I, I mean, I will just <laughs> fail miserably. But I learn, I learn from that failure, and then I apply what I have learned to to the next time. You know, mm -hmm. and you know, and. And so that way, every day, as I'm pushing myself out of my my you know my uh, comfort zone and get win after win after win, and then I may have a loss, but so as I'm getting wins, I am building momentum. You yeah. know, that way, for the next time, I'll be good to go. I'll be good to go. Yeah. So, what advice? would you give to another person who stutters? Um, I would definitely say that it's okay to stutter. Um, and it will take time to 
to understand what stuttering is and all that stuff. And I've only I've only learned that like in the past couple of months after having my Instagram up and stuff. So definitely um, through awareness as well. So as well as educating people, um, I would say as well is very important. Um, and then even like telling someone, telling people, telling your friends, um, telling your teachers, it's definitely um, important. Like, I don't know, when I first started um, in year seven, like, I, my mom was sending, like, so many pamphlets to all my teachers telling them what stuttering is, um, how to talk to talk to a child with stuttering. So that's definitely helped, um, which is very important. Um, but, yeah, just understanding stuttering, knowing that it's okay um, and that it will take time is probably one of my biggest ones, yeah. And that is great advice. Because um, even though we all have our different journeys, we've all been through some rough times and then some good times. And so um, it's great for us to impart that to uh, mothers who may not have been there yet. Um, because um, I believe in the motto of many of the stuttering um, organizations here where they uh, to tell you that you are not alone in which you are not alone because, you know, we're all here. <laughs> we are yes. all here to help out. <laughs> exactly. Okay. Now, if if you had the opportunity, Priya, to be on the world stage and to tell the whole world about st 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 stuttering, what message would you like for the world to know about stuttering? Um, I think one would definitely be, I kind of just tell everybody what stuttering is and then also going through like the different types of stutters and stuff. But I think in the broader message, it's definitely that, um, stuttering is just one of those, those things. And it's not something that you can change, um, as much as we all want it to change or not to have one. Um, I know that, um, it's definitely okay. And that I've grown to to love my stutter. Um, it's a lot of growing. <laughs> it's definitely got a lot of growing to do as well, but yeah. So just understanding stuttering and knowing that it's okay. We all have a thing um, and it's just one of our things. How cool. <laughs> I love that message. I love that message. Now, I found you on Instagram. You have a wonderful page tell us about your instagram because i find that is just fantastic <laughs> thank you um yes i started i started starter conversation um i'm gonna say a couple months ago actually yeah i was just kind of like in my room and i was kind of bored and i was like you know what let's just make a page about stuttering because I, I was just scrolling through about all the other accounts and i was like well there's not actually like a page that is directly from a teenager who stutters but also it's not it's not also just about my me and my story it's also about other people's story so I think I would love to have other people to also talk about their story and their journey as well on my page um, but yes it's just about bringing stuttering to the front and aware aware that's not a word <laughs> bringing stuttering awareness <laughs> there we go How... stuttering awareness I mean that is that is j just awesome. Okay, now you, you know, I'm not trying to, you know, put ideas in your head, <laughs> but if you had a podcast, Priya, yes. where you were just talking to teenagers, that would be phenomenal. That, I mean, woo, I mean, that would be awesome because, I mean, um, during the different years of, you know, growing up we go through different phases in our speech and so that would be just a great idea perhaps to have your own podcast priya's podcast I yes <laughs> i didn't priya's, even think of that <laughs> I'm, i mean i'm telling you priya you i mean this could just take you off and i mean i mean it would i mean it the the positive feedback that I get from around the world, Priya. It is amazing. Teenagers in uh, Pakistan, you know, mm -hmm. adults in uh, 
Greece, in Germany, uh, mm. Brazil, Mexico, you know, they all write to me and tell me, you know, thank you for having this podcast because they thought that they were all alone. So, I mean, you know, this could be a pretty good idea for you, Priya, to have yes. your own <laughs> Priya's podcast. I mean, I'm just saying, I'm just saying. I will definitely put that on the list. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well, Priya, it has been a delight to speak with you. I know you are 15, but you have a good head on your shoulders. Um, you have a bright future in um, occupational therapy. I mean, it is a, a, a wonderful career field. And so, you know, I want to just thank you, thank you, thank you for spending your your morning over there. And then over here, it's in the evening. Um, just thank you, thank you. Thank you for having me. It's been such a great opportunity. <laughs> I definitely wouldn't have done this a couple of years ago, but thank you so much. <laughs> oh, you are most w w welcome. Now, I have listeners from all over the globe, Priya. I mean, they are just f f fantastic. If they wanted to reach out to you, how would they do that? So I have an Instagram page called Stutter Conversation. And then I also have an email address if you would like to email me as well at startaconversation at gmail.com. How cool. I will have those links in the podcast notes. So I want to just, you know, let you know, Priya, if you get 20,000 DMs and 100,000 people join your Instagram, I'm just letting you know. I have <laughs> Thank a, you. <laughs> I have amazing followers and listeners. They're just fantastic so you know again i want to thank you thank you thank you you are a bright light in our stuttering community and so i hope you have a wonderful day you too as well thank you so much <laughs> thank you T -t take care be well thank you yes and stay safe thank you if you like this podcast head on over to apple podcasts subscribe rate and review Thank you for listening, and we will talk again.